Well, as you can see behind me, I made it to Sydney safely, and uh, the weather is definitely quite a contrast to where I left this morning in Queensland. Up there it was real tropical and humid, and down here it feels rather cool, and it's actually nice and refreshing. So I was just thinking as I was waiting for my luggage to come off the carousel behind me, how times have changed since I started traveling, uh, what was it, about 58 years ago? <laughs> seems like that but uh, no seriously though um, you know here I am I, I arrived I've got my uh, my handy dandy phone you know that I've been carrying with me that I bought in New Zealand and I went on to Google Maps I typed, typed in uh, 28 McClay uh, Street so I'm staying at 28 McClay Street and that's spelled M-A-C L-E-A-Y 28 McClay Street in Potts Point here in uh, Sydney so this uh, I could take the taxi over there it cost me 50 bucks but being the frugal guy that I am I'm not gonna do that I'm going to opt and take the uh, the public transportation and I'll bring you along for that so I'm going to be on the uh, what is it the um, Sydney Domestic Airport Station. I need to take the T2. The T2 is going to take me three stops to the Central Station. And then from Central Station, I'm going to go to the T4 Eastern Suburbs and uh, get off at the King's Cross Station. So total time's about 30 minutes. It would take me probably 10 or 15 minutes by taxi, but uh, save 30 bucks in doing so. And I should give a shout out to, uh, to a gal that I recently met named Kimberly. She uh, contacted me through a, a dating website that I'm on. It's called uh, Match.com. Maybe you've heard about it. But uh, anyway, Kimberly has been um, all too eager to give me her, her advice about uh, Sydney and Australia. You think I'm well-traveled. She uh, seems like she's got a little bit more travel uh, mileage on her suitcases than I do. But anyway, um, so now let's uh, head off into uh, Sydney, shall we? Okay, you know, I was thinking I might as well just go the whole nine yards and just do the whole trip over to my accommodation. So here is the train uh, escalator down to the train. So I'm going to go down and catch a train and that'll take me over to what is called the Quay Station, Q-U-A-Y Station. I try figured I might as well go the whole nine yards and just share this trip with you from the airport here in Sydney over to my accommodations, if only for my own memory. So you can see here in the downstairs area of the airport, it says catch the airport link, Sydney's airport train, and over on the left is the Sydney airport where I find myself. And I need to go, uh, I think it's uh, up to the Circular Quay Station, which you see right up there by the Opera House. How exciting this is huh? for me to be in Sydney. And uh, as I've been walking through here, I think of all the places that I've been traveling, you know, I really haven't found any one particular place that I would say that I might consider relocating out of the United States. But I, I do have some hopes for Sydney. I hear it's a fantastic city, and I'm looking forward to... Uh, getting to see it, you know, over the next 10 days. All right, so I could opt to use one of those automated kiosks, if you will, but I'm just going to go right through to the ticket counter and just ask them because I'm uh, not quite sure exactly how many stops, etc., if there's transfers involved or what have you. So I'll go up here and just show them the Google Map instructions and let them give me the tickets I need. Okay, at the risk of boring you to death, here is my train ticket. And it cost me all of uh, $16.40 in Australian. So you convert that over to U.S., uh, about 15 bucks. And I got to go to the central station and get over to the uh, another platform and go to the uh, King's Cross station. And as the ticket says, I'm going to be very careful to mind the gap. Okay, continuing with the never-ending excitement of my trip from the Sydney airport to my accommodations in Sydney, you can see the train just pulling in. I'm going to go all of three stops and get off at the central station and then transfer to get over to King's Cross. And yes, I'm going to uh, 
be very, very careful to mind the gap. I've been on a lot of city trains over the years, and this one here in Sydney certainly makes a great first impression. So I've got two more stops to go before I get to the central station, and i got to tell you that I'm excited to be back in the big city. So uh, all of 20 minutes from the airport over to King's Cross, where I'll be checking into my accommodations for the next 10 nights. This station. Okay, central station, and I'm still minding the gap. I've got to find my way over to uh, platform 24, which will take me over to the King's Cross station. So I'm staying on the uh, inner, what is it, the inner east, inner east part of Sydney. So I'll find my way over to 24. So as you can see, I didn't have to go very far in Sydney to find a beautiful lady. This lady waiting for the lift for me is from, of all places, Tasmania. And she was telling me that Tasmania is a place I have to see. Is that correct? Now, what, what is it so special about Tasmania? You have the Tasmanian Devil, don't you? Do you like wilderness? Uh-huh. I do. Is Tasmania its own country? Educate me, if you would. Well, no, it's a state. But it's a state of Australia. Oh, wonderful. But you've got to go over water, over Bass Strait. And by what? Plane, or, or you could go by... Um, Ferry, before I commit uh -huh. but plane trip two hours. All right. And before I commit to going down to Tasmania, do they have a Starbucks? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Well then, nix that idea. I can't go. Well, I only go where they have Starbucks. Oh. <laughs> all right. Let's Well, let, let's get the lift here. We can't sit here talking all day. <laughs> Okay, so I'm figuring out this maze of the central station. I've got two heavy bags, and I was told that I really needed to take the lift. So I'm finding my way. I was just taking the lift down with that lovely lady from Tasmania, and now I've got to take the lift up to platform 24. People here seem really friendly. They uh, kind of see me walking around looking lost and uh, quick to offer me advice as to where I need to go. All right, finally I reached the escalator that is going to take me down to platform number 24. Every time I'm on one of these subways, I can't uh, help but to relive my years that I lived in Budapest, Hungary. So uh, I'm always getting flashbacks, but over there the signs you would see on the wall going down would all be in Majad. Platform 24 at Central Station. It's 1351 in the afternoon and I'm finding my way over to the King's Cross Station which will take me to McClay Street. And you know I should probably help my mom out and let her know what minding the gap means. Mom you see the uh, you see the, 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 the platform there where it drops off and the train comes in? So there's always a, uh, a little gap between where you step onto the train and, and uh, the platform. So when they say mind the gap, Mom, that's what they're talking about, okay? All right, and as you look at that sign for unlimited ADSL 2 plus home phone line rental for $79.99 per month, you see the train pulling in here at the Central Station. It's going to take me three stops to King's Cross. I'd imagine that this short little video I'm doing from the airport into town would be really useful for some people like myself that uh, are coming to Sydney for the first time so they know what to expect. Okay, Mom, there is the gap as I... Uh, get off here at King's Cross Station. So this is the first glimpse that I've had of my, what's going to be my neighborhood for the next 10 nights. I was actually thinking on the uh, train as I'm coming over here, my uh, home, my return ticket is on the 17th of April, which would be one week from, uh, well, that'll be one week from this Thursday. So I was actually, I found myself, found myself thinking that uh, my home is rented out until the, uh, my home
room is rented out until the 25th. So I could actually extend my stay here by a week if I wanted to, if I really liked it. So we'll see what, uh, what unfolds over the next several days. All right, go out of the station, take a left, and go all the way down to the end. That was the advice given to me by a gentleman downstairs, so I'm going to do just that. I'll take his advice and find my way down. So this is the neighborhood where I'm going to be living for the next uh, several days. Kind of an interesting uh, feel to it, for sure. And uh, my guests last night at the, at the barbecue that I was at were telling me that this part of Sydney has a rather large uh, gay population in it. So uh, that'll be an interesting aspect of my, my visit here, my experience here. Personally, I'm not gay, even though, uh, you know, it felt really good cuddling with Fred the uh, koala yesterday. You know, I got to admit, but uh, no, I'm not. I'm not gay. So, uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, isn't that what they used to say on Seinfeld? But uh, anyway, so we'll uh, we'll find our way to McClay Street here momentarily. All right, hat off to Google. They got me here in uh, all of 20, 25 minutes from the airport using Google Maps. So got to give credit where credit is due and look at the fountain here on McClay Street. So I need to find the uh, service departments where I'll be staying for the next 10 nights. For those who might be curious, we are 17,967 kilometers from Dublin and 12,054 kilometers from Los Angeles. You can see the other distances, Singapore, Paris, Hong Kong, Athens. So I don't know what that would be in miles. Maybe somebody could do the uh, do the conversion and let me know. All right, I found it. The McClay Hotel Service Departments and Hotel here on McClay Street, 28 McClay Street. And as I, I'm about to check in, I thought I'd give you a nice shot of the outside and the neighborhood that I'm going to find myself in. So from the outside, it uh, just looks like your typical typical hotel that you'd be checking into so I hope that the uh, hope that the room is nice I'll be putting this probably be putting this video on their review thing for orbit so let's hope for their sake that it's a nice uh, nice hotel okay so find my way up to the uh, to the lobby here and they should have my uh, should have my room ready for me at least I hope so we'll be checking in here, and I'll show you the room in just a moment. Let's give you another view of the lobby here at the McClay Service Departments. I'm really anxious to see what the uh, what the room is going to look like. All right, so room number 808 at the McClay Service Departments. Here you go. Nothing, uh, nothing too fancy. Looks rather comfortable, but uh, rather simple. And uh, as you can see, not much of a view from my particular room here, unless you stick your neck out. You can see a little bit of a view. I don't see the, uh, no sighting of the harbor yet, but there is the view from my room if you look out the left. So, and then come back in. And fortunately for me, they have internet included in the room and uh, you can upgrade to high speed for seventy dollars a week so there is my there is my trip from the uh, Sydney Airport to the McClay Service Department on McClay Street 